Today, we are going to look at the procedure to align a three-leg pappy in the field using a digital protractor. You will need the following equipment to align the pappy. An alignment jig, a digital protractor, a three-quarter inch wrench for large pappy leg nuts, two nine-sixteenths wrenches for the small pappy leg nuts, a three-eighths inch wrench to adjust the tilt switch, and a copy of the manual, which is 96A0209 for a voltage-driven pappy, or 96A0236 for a current-driven pappy. Open the pappy and place the alignment jig on reference blocks A and B at the front of the pappy, and reference slots C and D in the middle of the enclosure. The reference blocks and slots have been precision aligned at the factory. The point end of the V site, if present, should be at the front of the pappy light box. Next, verify the glide slope angle desired for each light box. For a 4 box L880 pappy, the standard alignment for each light box is shown on the screen. For a standard 3 degree approach angle, the light box farthest from the runway would be set to 2 degrees 30 minutes. The next closest light unit would be set at 2 degrees 50 minutes. The next box at 3 degrees 10 minutes and the light box closest to the runway edge would be set at 3 degrees, 30 minutes. For a 2-box L881 Pappy, the standard alignment for each light box is shown on the screen. For a standard 3-degree approach angle, the light box farthest from the runway would be set to 2 degrees, 45 minutes, and the light box closest to the runway edge would be set at 3 degrees, 15 minutes. Before aligning your Pappy, verify these angles with the airport operator. Maintenance Tip Mark these angles on the inside top cover of the pappy, or another visible location for future reference. Instructions for performing an accuracy check of the digital protractor are found in the instructions included with the protractor, and in the ADB pappy manual. To perform the check, position the digital protractor with the display facing you on a clean, flat, horizontal surface. It doesn't have to be exactly level. Wait 10 seconds so the unit is completely settled and note the angle on the display. Rotate or spin the unit end for end so that the display is facing away from you. Be sure to set the digital protractor in exactly the same spot and wait 10 seconds before reading the angle that is displayed. Now roll or flip the unit towards you so that the display is facing you but the lettering on the face of the unit is upside down. Wait 10 seconds and note the angle on the display. Rotate or spin the unit end for end so that the display is facing away from you. The lettering should still be upside down. Wait 10 seconds and note the angle on the display. Caution! If any of the four measurements in steps 1 through 4 varies from any other by more than 0.1 degree, you must recalibrate the digital protractor. Note that the digital protractor reads out in hundredths of a degree, while the required alignment angle is shown in degrees and minutes. A complete table showing the conversion of minutes to hundredths of a degree can be found in the instruction sheet for the digital protractor and the ADB PAPI manual. For this video, the most common conversions are shown here. The PAPI mounting legs are made up of an upper and lower screw rod connected by a differential sleeve. Make sure the threaded rod does not rotate when using the fastening nuts and lock nuts on the legs. Use the small upper rod for preliminary adjustment of the angle. For fine adjustment of the angle, use the differential sleeve. During the alignment of the pappy, we will use the right front leg as the pivot point. First, tighten the upper hex nut on the right front leg using two 9 16ths wrenches. Do not tighten the lower hex nut. The right front leg will now be the pivot point for the following operations. To set the horizontal alignment for the front of the pappy, Place the digital protractor between A and B. Adjust for 0 degrees. Set and block the left front leg. To set the vertical angle or glide slope, place the digital protractor between B and C. Adjust for the proper angle, for example, 3.5 degrees. Set and block the rear leg. Next, verify all alignment measurements. If the evaluation setting is still not correct, repeat the preliminary evaluation adjustment steps and then the fine adjustment steps until the correct setting is obtained. Now verify the tilt switch is level and adjust it if required. To do this, 
you will need a 3 8 inch wrench to loosen the nuts on the inside of the enclosure. Then, place the digital protractor on top of the tilt switch and adjust the tilt switch. The digital protractor should read 0 degrees. Tighten the nuts holding the tilt switch and recheck the level. Finally, Repeat the alignment procedure for all other light boxes associated with the PAPI system, using the correct vertical alignment for that box. For additional information, please refer to the manual for your PAPI system, which is available on the ADB website at adb-air.com. You may also contact ADB customer service directly by phone or email using the information shown on the screen. Thank you for your attention.